This world has been sundered by a tide of arcane energy. The winds of magic turned into a maelstrom. The Tome of Fate drew me north to find out why. It guided me to a distant fortress steeped in blood. A battle was fought there. Though long over, the spirit still lingered. In the shadow of a broken portal, the trail ended. It was here the tome conversed with the dead. They told of Urson, the bear god of Kislev, lost in darkness. A noble prince ventured to save him, yet he strayed from the path and was corrupted by chaos. Savior became executioner. A single shot bound in faith forsaken pierced Urson's heart. And so the bear god roared. The tide that broke the world. Spirits, where lies Urson now? Is he here in the north? Is he alive? Wounded and dying. Embraced in shadow. What shadow? A demon's? A master of the dark. I knew who shackled the bear. Bellacor. Only a fool would challenge Belagor. And yet, the power of a dying god, there is no greater prize. A mere drop of Urson's blood would break my curse, ending my servitude to this accursed book. Free to profit from its secrets. But Urson is locked in the Forge of Souls, deep in the realm of chaos. And I cannot enter this nightmarish domain. All routes have been sealed by the Maelstrom. There must be a way. Ah, the tome unveils a spell to summon a portal. One to bypass the Maelstrom and create a door into chaos. Knowledge to bargain, for I need an ally. One who is tempted by the power of the god bear and can withstand the horrors within. Done. 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 So, welcome to part one of my new Ogre Kingdoms Let's Play as Scrag the Slaughterer. So Ogre Kingdoms, we have camps, so we can deploy camps to create a forward base, constructing buildings and recruiting units from them. Uh, we have the meat resource. Each army is sustained by meat. Source it from fighting battles and being near camps. And we also have contracts. Factions will issue you contracts, fulfill them to increase your standing. So obviously the two legendary lords for the Ogres, Greasus and Scrag. Scrag won our, our vote. So that's what we're going to play as. Disciples of the Maw, and he has a very different start position to any other faction. Um, so we're going to be facing off against the Empire, the Dwarves. That's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to play this on very hard, very hard difficulty. That's what I always do my campaigns on, pretty much. Everything else is the same. If you're watching this over on YouTube, we're streaming this uh, each week and recording at the same time and then uploading it. The plan will be to have enough uploads to upload it every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday going forward. Initially, to start with, the episode length will probably be around about an hour each. Uh, then I'm away on holiday next week. Um, and once I come back from my holiday, I'll plan some longer streams. So you'll likely have longer episodes uh, each week. Let's go through the faction effects of Scrag. He's got plus 10%, or uh, well, the faction effects, yeah. 10% campaign map movement range, all characters, plus one hero capacity for butchers and hero recruit rank plus two for butchers. Then Scrag's unique Lord effects are plus 8% casualty replenishment for gorgy units, 
Lord's Army and minus 50% upkeep for Gorge units, Lord's Army. So we're going to have, uh, we'll definitely want to have a few Gorges in there to play to Scrag's strengths. Let's dive on in and begin our Scraggy campaign. The ogres feast to honor Greasus the over tyrant. Their appetites are ferocious. I must be weary. Time's up, wizards. No. Put him in the stew. Wait, wait! Untold power can be harnessed from a dying god. Power? Ogres take what they want. What more power do we need? Boil the pot! Flesh me! <laughs> Please wait! The god is a bear! You can't devour it! Quiet! A bear, you say? Sounds tasty. Shut up! <sighs> and you meet god flesh. Enough for you, your warriors, and your god, the great maw. <sighs> I can smell it now. Roast god ribs. A feast like no other. You're no meat eater. What's in it for you? My book reveals a path to his deathbed. I will show you the way for one drop of Urson's divine blood. One drop, but ogres get the rest. That is the deal. Our goal is to claim Urson. The ogres will eat their weight in god flesh and throw the leftovers into the great maw. Oh, great maw. What shall I do with this piece of gristle? Does it go in the pot? No. I say, first we listen to him, then we can eat him. If you need meat for your pot, then we should start with the dwarfs, great prophet. The Carax will be tough to crack, but the taste is surely worth it. Further along the pass lie ruins. The Tome of Fates tells me that Skaven hide within. There isn't much flesh on the vermin, so you must slay plenty to fill the cauldron. And where the Grey Mountains end is the true treasure. Marienburg, a city rich in gold and supple flesh. Beyond lies the Empire. So much blood for your part. Enough to summon the rifts and hunt for god meat in the realms of chaos. Of course, it is possible to bypass the dwarfs and head straight for the heart of the Empire which is ripe for plunder, but perhaps that's a riskier strategy. Listen to your gut, Great One. Let its rumble guide you, and together we will seek Urson and finally sate the Great Maw. Okay, how they play. Disciples of the Maw, meet. Ogre armies gain meat from battles, from local settlements, and from ogre camps, which they use for unit upkeep. Surplus meat may be sent to the Great Moor to gain bonuses. Ogre camps. Ogre armies can create camps in enemy territory to assist with the recruitment and resupply. Big names. Some ogre lords and heroes may earn a name for themselves by performing certain feats. Once earned, a big name confers bonuses on the ogre character that bears it. Contracts. Uh, ogre factions may be offered contracts from time to time by others to attack certain targets. Lovely. Scrag, I travel with you rather than the over tyrant. For who better to seek a god than one who talks directly to them? But first, we must deal with these dwarfs. Thank you, advisor. We've got our first mission. We need to engage the enemy and defeat these dwarves in battle. No, which is a uh, more grim half hand. One. We'll get a thousand gold to our treasury and we'll also unlock a butcher of beasts. So that can be our that can be our Tim. Our uh, Tim the Ogre Enchanter. We've had lots of suggestions for that. I kind of wonder, it'd be... Is there any... I would like if something special happens to Scrag, if he does actually make his way back over... Well, it's the way up here, isn't it? To the Great Moor. 
Because that's where that's where the Great Moor, all the way up here. And of call if he like went back to speak to his god. Because he's a he's essentially like a He's essentially the Costaltin of the the ogres, right, for the Moor. Right. Uh what have we got? I didn't actually bother looking at his starting units. Uh we got three units of Noblars. Noblar trappers, which slow enemies down. And we've got three units of gorges, which are armor piercing, anti-infantry, and they've got vanguard. They are strong. Uh, a saber tusk pack, ogre balls with dual weapons, and ogre balls. These guys are anti-infantry, the dual weapon variant. Okay. And what have we got here? Offer to the great moor. Oh, wow. So we can power ourselves up by spending some meat. We can have melee attack plus 10 for the army. Come and get it. Movement range plus 20%. I feel like I want to take the extra movement straight away so I can push as far as possible. What the dwarves got there. A little bit. I don't know if we'll be able to push on straight away. Can't deploy a camp yet. What have we got here at the Gristle Valley? Gristle Valley, we do get a landmark. We get the uh, Gorge's Haunt. 25 percent recruitment cost for gorgeous uh, units faction wide and plus four recruit rank okay yeah, you want to get that early um is it uh, is it am i right in thinking ogres it's their camps that give you their higher tier buildings and units oh, you want to get a fire belly for our enchanter yeah that's true um that's hunter yeah so this butcher will call maybe shrek the butcher yeah fire bellies definitely um, right, well, let's upgrade that straight away. Bristle Valley. So, what have we got? That one there. Move all the way on. Oh, Azagraz. I was looking at the wrong one. Yeah, it's a small little garrison. That's fine. Um, yeah, let's, let's, let's offer to the Great Moor and go for, come and get it. Make offer. Just give him even more movement range so we can definitely make it as far as possible straight away before we start moving him. 144 now. Lovely. Right. Let's go attack some Dowie. Oh, I didn't look at his skills, actually. We will fight this one. It's the first battle always like fighting it, checking us all out. We can spend meat for, if we maximize it, five times the highest amount. Pre-battle feast gives us plus 10% speed, unit mass, and charge bonus, which sounds like it just makes your units absolutely heckin' bonkers. Uh, should we do it? I mean, it's only cost us five... Like meat management. I might. I think I'll save it for a bigger battle because this is a fairly straightforward one. We'll save it for perhaps the faction capital, uh, the provincial capital rather. In we go. Hey, Chocula. How you doing? Camps go to tier five. Uh, exactly that. Cool, cool, cool. With your your when you build a camp, it doesn't. You can't just is that tied to your army in that if you leave the camp it gets destroyed so do you always need to keep it kind of garrisoned or do you need to create an army specifically or a lord specifically to in camp with gotta be careful using me early okay right let's have a little look at scraggy carrying his big old pot with him that's just because you know fancies a fancies a brew on the go I mean, I, I can understand, but has he has he heard of a has he heard of like a coffee flask or something like that instead? It's much more convenient to to. I, I, what happened to your hands? Who? I mean, you've been in the wars, haven't you? And of course, you've got a skull nipple ring because that's what's trendy. Yep. There you go. I mean, that 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 face is a face. Not even a mother could love. There's so many chins there. I don't like. How do you do one of do one of these guys get under there with a cloth and? <laughs> you have to keep units in a camp to protect if it gets destroyed but you can i'm assuming you can build a camp and wander on right but you'd probably want to put an army in there right scrap what are his stats like he's so he's a he's a wizard he's an armor piercing and anti-infantry and he's got ogre charge ogre charge when attacking brace charge defense this unit only loses half its charge bonus so yeah you can just keep on Keep on charging. <laughs> um, I mean, he's fairly strong melee attack and defense. Armor's a bit low, but otherwise, yeah. Pretty pretty solid hybrid. 
Uh, Bull Gorger. Attack and armor piercing. This is Law of the Great Moor. Yep. Uh, leadership. Brain uh, Gobbler. Lovely, 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 lovely. Take it all. Take it all. Biggest right. in the tribe. Biggest in the tribe. Have you guys here. And then we're going to want you guys flanking. Can I hide you guys there? Yeah, flank round the dwarves and then munch them from behind. Saber tasks. Over there. What are you good at? You're very fast and you rampage. I will probably not hold on to you guys for too, too long. I'll smell ya. I thought for a minute he was saying arse smell ya. I was like, please, please, no, no arse smells. So. No more. No more. Ogres are all siege breakers. Yeah. Beautiful. You can recruit the garrison in camps. Oh, okay. Quick buff them. Gorgers getting behind. Oh, it's beautiful. In go my little knobblers. Having a great time, these ogres. Here come the gorgeous. Lovely. Pull the pot through. Brag accidentally, accidentally butchered his tyrant's favourite knobla and his hands had his hands chopped off as punishment for, for being exiled. Oh, okay. Knoblas! These guys are funny. Bunch them all. Yeah, there we go. They've trapped him. Ogres get back. You guys get back there. Scrag at the Lord. Gorges after them because they're pretty fast. Oh, yeah, Saber Tusks. Just, just completely surrounded. Go on. Get him, Scrag. Come on, Scraggy. Now they're fighting. Oh, he's just getting smacked by all the trappers. Nice. That'll do. It's dwarf chopping time. That's saber tusks. What are you doing? 
the more that walks. Go after them. Meanwhile, munch the dowie, munch the dowie. So keep keep turning the pot. So why is everything glowing on the floor? It's all the little little minor lanterns on their packs. It's pretty cool. Buff himself up. That makes him rather nasty. Come yeah, on. Munched. All right, chuck him in the pot. Chuck him in the pot. Job done. Gorgeous, strong, but yeah, flanking primarily because they've got very low armor. I don't know if their melee defense being dropped as well. It's just ran him over, yeah. Gave him a solid beard trim. So, let's bring Pendant. Gives us magical attacks. Nice. We gain some meat from the battle. We can replenish by eating them. Or we can get some more meat. Are you guys telling me that meat early on is key? So, I kind of feel like we should take all the meat we can get. 60% is nice. We really didn't lose that many troops. So, I'm going to process some meat. Absolute nice. Uh, follow again. Noblar Chief. Plus four. Recruit rank for Noblars. Okay. Um... Enables magic attacks. Noise. Big name unlocked. The Gore Harvester. A potent ally has joined your ranks. Embed them in your army. Okay, I'll to get a bit of gold. open those dwarf holds, you will need more clubs. Best call upon some fresh meat. Fresh meat. Can I reach that? I can. So I'm going to go straight into that rather than recruit. Then I'll recruit once I'm there. Then I'll move on Zifflin afterwards. Um, what I might try and do is move you in, start sieging it, then bring him up. Slice of victory. What's a dwarf? I should like quite like to see what a dwarf camp looks like. I want to see the butcher in action. Right. Shrek. The Butcher. In he goes. Playing some troops. Beautiful. So we've got Lore of Beasts in there now. Um, which we... I think for Scrag, actually, he probably doesn't want another... Does he, he probably wants a hunter, actually, to support him rather than a... Offer the great more cost minus 20%. Yeah, that would have been good, wouldn't it, before you did that other one? Um, summons a unit of gorgeous. Cool, cool, cool. Driven by visions plus 8%. He really gets a lot of buffs to movement, doesn't he? Um, toothy Noblars. Okay. Tolerance to toxins. That's what we get. Walking Larder. Open charging. Whirling Stump Blades. Mm, yeah, maybe Whirling Stump Blades. Lovely. Blessed by the Great Moor. And then Blood Gruel replenishes hit points for combatants. So this is, these are his spells. Tooth Cracker. Bone Crusher. That's a explosion. Cool. Meat Cleaver. Troll Guts is replenishment. Heal. The Moor is a nice big old explosion. Extra ingredients. Augments the Winds of Magic. Lovely. How would we get them? Master of Meat. Is that meat provided by camps plus 150%? That's going to be quite useful. Um, once the, they've got to be in a camp, though, to provide that. So it's only for his army. Um, read importance. It's corruption. More tooth. Growth. Healer. Replen oh, you get a healer there, do you? Okay, yeah, because you don't get one up here. You come from all buildings, local province. Without a fear. Yeah. Okay, well, we always want to go for Root Marcher, because even more movement is always good. Thank you, God it's one meat upkeep for units in the army, so 60 meat. Two turns for you're out. Okay. Let the hunger guide us. Army upkeep. We haven't seen any of that just yet. Uh, oh, it's 12. 12 consumption. Right now. Okay. 
What research have we got? Uh, camp huddle. Oh, it gives the army ability. Yeah. Oh, unlocks those for us. That's pretty cool. Yeah, just work our way through that. It's not like it's particularly complex. It Tree. Uh, is anyone with a scrag campaign, have you found it was easy or even possible to confederate with gold tooth? Because that's something I wouldn't mind doing. If if it doesn't seem possible, I'll probably use the same mod I used in my Meow Ying campaign to confederate with the Iron Dragon. Um, Zhao Ming. But I don't want to have it on too early in case it just makes it super easy. It's extremely hard to confederate. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to make that a main aim just because there are other ends of the map, so it's not particularly important. Um, these are, I'm assuming, the Skaven that are over there. The nation call. Yes. The Empire. That looks too quick deal, actually. Anyone actually want to trade with me? No. No, we're very much going to be on our own diplomacy-wise, I would imagine. Skaven, yeah. I kind of like that when you tap, when you leave diplomacy, if you're talking to someone, it echoes out. Right, let's go in here. Um, magical attacks. Yeah, why not? Let's quickly fight this one in this dwarf hold. Oh yeah, there's no meat because in yeah, camps have an AOE, don't they? So you can you can kind of chain the AOE to, uh, together of camps to uh, keep you supplied. He's is so is this his exile that he's been sent off into for taking out the tyrant's uh, favorite nobler? Are we in some rocks right now? Ah, we're using the better camera mod. I should say yeah, we're using a few mods here. Uh, but they're all UI tweaks. And the better camera mod has a higher starting position, which has put us actually on top of the map. Interesting that CA actually did put a a roof as such. It's the rocks that we're under. Interesting. Just zoom in. Come down. I think it's, they did it for this one because you can see the sky above. Which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to channel some magic. I'm going to risk that. Yeah, these dwarf settlements are cool. Very nice. Right. Um, let's set the gorges over there. We want a, a false display of concentrated strength over here. So I'll put the rest of them here. So we've got we've got Shrek the Butcher here. Big old meat masher. God, mate, you need to see the dentist. Those are some little twigs you've got in there, isn't it? Also, you might want to eat some cream for that. Boil on your head. Oh, you is one ugly chap, aren't you? Decent melee combatant as well. Oh, what have we got? We got the everything's wild form. Okay. Oh look, they've put all the dwarves over here. Right, there we go. Blankety flank. At what stage do you guys find you just don't bother with Noblars anymore? Do you still find a use for them? I mean, the Trappers, I can see them having a bit more use. Is it just get throw Noblars in to build up a spam 20 stack to be able to keep on pushing? Or it's not even worth that. Putting a tower up there. It's fine. Go that way. Shrek, the Netflix adaptation. <laughs> In you go. Relentless hunger. 
Power up those balls. Get in there. If you get unbreakable for Noblars, they're better than most ogres. Oh, really? How do you get unbreakable for them? Is it a tech? Yeah, I mean, I could see like having like running, say, like four Noblar trappers. I could see that being kind of useful. Yo. Slam into them. That's why I split one of these guys off. So we could flank on Rangit behind them because I knew one of them was going to try and stop us there by the looks of things. That tower is nearly up. Um, we can actually send the Noblars up there. Send them up there. Power up these guys, make them absolutely disgusting. Yeah, there we go. Come on round. They get hit by that tower. It's fine, they're doing plenty of damage. Yeah, I feel like, like four units of trappers would be useful. I mean, stat-wise, melee, what, they're exactly the same, aren't they? These just get the traps and stalk the hybrid unit, which is kind of useful. Knock these guys out from behind, then we'll go and take these guys out from behind as well. Smashing on through. Let's get ready to munch them here. They come. Three, two, one. Beautiful. That smashed them. They're all controlled off that point, so you guys go get that one. Trappers. Sit along there. They've nearly broken down there as well, though. They're about to break completely. Yeah, there we go. There's the victory. Lovely. Job done. Oh, yeah, I didn't put the big name on. That's the one thing I didn't do. We went into this. Need to activate Scrag's big name. Why trappers when you can have lead belts? Oh yeah, definitely we'll be having lead, uh, lead belts are the unit I'm most excited to have like four of. <laughs> is, that, is that enough? Is that not enough? Um, but yeah, we're just talking about how, keeping Noblar's early game to just fill out your ranks a bit until you get to those elites. Until you can afford all the, all the ogres as well, I'm guessing. Noise. Uh, we'll just occupy it. Oh, Tormentor Sword. Lovely. Right, yeah. What was his? I didn't do his big name. He got Gore Harvester. Gener Meet Generated Lord's Army. I mean, we don't have any of the others. I'm assuming we can switch between these names. Sort of whenever we want. Uh, and just home with over 50 meat. We should unlock that one then pretty quickly. That seems very easy to get. Uh, World Swallower. Campaign map. Are oh, you going to want that, aren't you? Just to keep on moving. <laughs> Against an enemy led by a spellcaster. Pretty cool. Uh, choose that one. Wait, it lasts for 10 turns. Right. Let's switch between them all. Noise. And then we're going to pop through. What's this? The more feasts. Cavern dweller. Oh, can we can we underway? No. It cools. We get a chance still to intercept them, though, I guess, when they jump through. Uh, off to the Great Moor. Um, and we're not... How long can I do that again? Ten. Ten turns. They'll level up in that time. So as long as I make sure I get that before we do it next time. Yeah, let's go start going through spells. 
Thank you. More options there. Thank you. They so. Hunger. I feel like we want some more ogres. Get some more ogres away. in there. My coupon awaits. Is there anything else we can get? Um, Crystal Valley. Oh, yeah, we've got this one, haven't we? What can we get in here? We've got the gold hordes. Um, this gives us defenses that add walls to it. Oh, wait, no. Do I'm guessing ogres are like Norskins and stuff, right? They don't. Oh, that, no, that does. Oh, they're both garrison ones. Yeah, you, have, you often have two now, don't you? To provide different things. You don't. I'm assuming you don't get walls as ogres, right? You just get minor settlement maps. Would make sense. I'm assuming they're probably not exactly a faction that would build up great walls. Do they get it in their provincial provincial capitals at all? Or are they always always like Norskins that always defaults down? At least you can get iron guts from here though. That's not bad. They are chonky boys. Yeah, that'll do. Although we maybe should swap that for a uh what's our growth building. It'll take seven turns at this current rate. Yeah, let's swap that for growth instead then. And we get a contract in 10 turns. Okay, right. I think that's our first turn done. It's all looking pretty good. Yeah, so what, what multiple heroes do we get? What type of heroes? We get hunters, melee, butchers, magic, and fire bellies, which are obviously um, law of fire spells. Fun. Uh, fresh meat is to recruit two units. End the turn. Big name unlocked. Oh, yeah. Our ever famished one. There we go. Reaching units, get a thousand gold. The riches in the vaults of Karakazgaraz will keep your expedition fully stocked. And what you can't spend can be eaten. Hey, we get a rock eye. Nice. Break it open. Oh no, that was one one completed, right? Yeah, successful mission. And yeah, that one. There we go. Hopefully. Oh no, sorry, that was Asgaraz. <laughs> just came straight up. May not be the Completed it straight away. Mourn, I think it's because they no assume why an ogre kingdom cannot be founded here. Yeah, lovely. I assume you'll recruit the two units and then take it the following turn. We did that the other way around. So right, take the mountains, hold the southern grey mountains. So they take Karak Ziflin, and then we will uh, get 5k. So yeah, we're losing 14 meat a turn right now. That's fine. Can we take out the Dowie as we are? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Don't think so. They don't think I can. I mean, with 14 armor piercing on these guys, like maybe we could. They're going to be recruiting on up. So if we go now, we stop them. Or we can build up our army a bit more. I think we can probably have them. Close defeat. Assuming because of the walls. But what if we spend... Oh, that takes it from a... Close defeat to a crushing defeat. Crushing defeat sounds worse, right? But oh. <laughs> That doesn't sound good. Hmm... <laughs> Okay, that sounds, that sounds, why is it getting worse when we're buffing ourselves up? Heh. <laughs> Campaign's going well so far, I think. Um, all resolve is absolutely off its tits. Yeah. But we should be fine. I'm assuming five times is the maximum amount you can reach. We've got, we can attack walls though with these guys. Go home, orders. I'll be drunk. I, I think we, we're going to try and push this. We're going to see if we can do it. We've got the armor piercing on a lot of them. Let's not die one in yes. We're spending up our we're spending our meat resource to buff our to give us a pre-battle feast, which now we've set it to the maximum five times. Which gives us plus ten percent speed, plus ten percent unit mass, and plus ten percent charge bonus. In we go. You're like the like the Kool Aid man. Oh yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. 
try and find the best angle of approach where they can't build towers to hit us, hopefully. Oh, this is a, a strong... Look at this. Look at the surrounding it. I'm going to risk channeling magic. See, balance power is in our favor. Order resolve. You're so drunk. I get it. I get it. This it's meant to force you to fight more battles or stuff like that. But there's got to be a better way. Have a look at this great dwarven Kalak. It looks good. Looks good. Very impressed with the maps in this. Well, so much better than what we've had before. There are a lot of towers. Uh, is there any side which has less? I mean, if we could, can we can we place everyone over here? Because then there's only two towers there, and we can just smash through that gate. We avoid that tower as well. Then we are choke point in a bit. We could focus on that gate as well. Or is it better just to go straight through that one? Probably better just to go straight through that one. There's a big gap of the wall there, actually, to go in that we can filter on through behind. Let's just stay where we are, then. Can you guys attack walls? Yeah. Yeah, they got wall breaker. So if we send the gorge just to go straight for that bit of wall... When do we eat? Um... Knob blast kind of go up behind, and then we have the ogres going in, going in here. Can they attack the tower on the ground? Maybe. Saber toss, have you guys over here, and hope you're out of the way of towers. Actually, I'm going to be really annoying with these guys to try and pull some of them over this side and put them over there. So they're not going to be at much useful Master against the dowie. I attack that? No, I can't. I can attack that bit, though. How are we doing against the wall? Oh, fair bit of damage pretty quickly. Are you got, have you managed to draw anyone to you? You have. Two, uh, one, one unit. That'll do. You guys literally just chill here. Happy days. In fact, just go there. Then you're out of range in case they decide to redeploy at all. You go through the walls quicker than the gate. Yeah, probably. Oh, I can now, what can I do with this? Overcasting it. Extended effect duration. So rather than 17 seconds, it's 34 doubles it. Oh, what's this? Hang on. Destroy buildings and seize vehicles. Does that work on towers? Can I use that on a bit of wall for damage? Stone shaker. Try it there. Yep. Beautiful. We're through. Go, go, go. We're nearly through this gate. Or just go take out the crossbows on the ground. Gate's nearly down. Come on. Here's Scraggy. Knock them off the wall with that. Kill 
Get him. There you go, go. Is this one still staying up here or have they pulled back a bit? They're pulling back a bit. Harass the gate, see if we can get in. Not bothering to destroy the towers just because we've got everyone inside now, pretty much. The towers aren't, aren't hitting me. Probably destroy the ones inside would be useful, yeah. Woo, Scraggy. Okay, that's a lot of damage, mate. Need some extra armor, don't you, bud? There we go. In you go. Someone head over there and munch those guys. That was nearly not good. Flank on round, flank on round, flank on round. I'm gonna destroy this with a splat. Yep, noise. Just through here. Awesome. Nobla, uh, yeah, not Noblas. Gorgeous through there, please. Take him out. Right, everyone's attack. Just their lord pretty much to take out, right? 430, okay. We've lost half. Oh, I don't think I can get that. Won't let me hit that one. That's really frustrating. Like this one. Is that going to be close enough to destroy it? I don't know. No. Oh, I couldn't get it to lock onto it. It's fine. We'll grab this point. We should take out all of those. We nearly captured that one. Nearly captured that. They brought back those ones or have they put them back on the wall here? We're through there. Yeah, no, they're coming over this way. That's the victory point. Head over that away. Any building destroyed with that. In we go. Lovely. Momentum as well. As we start capturing some of these. Gain bonuses. Die, Dowie, die. Beautiful. Smushed. This one is strong though. His defense. Hell. Siege Defender. From all that walks. This morale will probably go. We might go. need the gorges on it and the ogres up elsewhere. It's really frustrating I can't hit that properly. I'm going to take that one out yet. Yeah. That one should be able to hit it. No. Oh, that's really frustrating. You guys go in and cap that. Yeah, Scrag, you can't be in there, mate. Oh, there we go. He's about to break. Victory Zars. Yeah, we've broken him. Yeah, the other ones are given up. Beautiful. Job done. Pyrrhic victory. Yeah, take that. Crushing defeat.
Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. When is Mortal Empires? Uh, Immortal Empires for Warhammer 3 is due out uh, in Q3 this year. Six meats. Good bit of experience. Nice bit of treasury. Lovely. Occupy. Tom Shield. Nice. Take the mountains. Beautiful. Capture two provinces on next mission. We go for the northern grey mountains now that we've got the southern. Hey, old dwarf. Hey, okay. Say, who are we actually at war? We're just at war with them right now. This Take out the empire like next. Consent. Well, my plan is to just work our way up through the mountains, hit Marienburg, and then come back down to old dwarf before pushing on out this way. I was suddenly thinking, I was like, oh, why don't we have anything on there? It doesn't, you don't get any of that until the first rifts occur, do you? I was thinking like, oh, do we have a different set of objectives? <laughs> no, it's just, it hasn't, we've only just started. We're two turns in. Uh, if we want to do domination, we've got to take out Exiles of Corn, Great Orthodoxy, Ice Court, Pox Makers, Legion of Chaos, Zeus of Sunlash, Oracles of Zinch, Western Provinces. Just, just, just like destroy all, all the other factions. It's like, yeah, okay, fine. I'm making control of 50 provinces. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think we'll be doing that one. All those just capture two provinces all remain. We're up by Cafe. Clicked on them. Right, Scraggy. Uh, also, your big names. You've also got the Ever Famished, haven't you? Yeah, definitely want that if we can. Although, World Swat, they're just, just all good, aren't they? They're all going to be very useful. I am going to grab Bone Crush so we get Explosion Spell. Uh, although, was it something along there we had the, uh, along the top? Yeah, no, Bone Crusher. Hopefully. God, Thank you. Uh, only mods I'm using are the better camera mod, uh, building progression icons mod, and the settlement panel icons mod. So just pure UI right now. The only other two mods that I have basically in my in my subscribe library right now are the um I grabbed the punishment early actually. Are the uh one button respect mod and the Easier Confederations mod, which I've been using for my cafe campaign. Yeah, we don't need two of those. So, uh, I mean, Gristle Valley. I might get rid of that one there just because you've got a resource and a landmark. And keep that one at Zifflin. You've got a resource, but you don't have a landmark, so that's fine. Right. Uh, not enough ogres, really, is it? More ogres. Or oh, ogres, my lord. So they must be down to their last settlement, surely. Yeah, they're super weak. We don't need to worry about... I was thinking, yeah, we can just sit and go up to a full 20 stack. We'll just push on that one next. Commandment available. What do we get? Feasts for the strong. Camping at mid range. Minus 20% for enemy armies. Growth plus 20. Control plus 4. Incomparable abilities plus 5%. And chance of plague spreading minus 40%. Crude uh, ingenuity. Corruption replenishment. Recruitment cost. Uh, recruitment capacity, rather. Um, go for that one. Feasts for the strong. That'll do. That'll do. Must Good. Right, enter. They're trying to build up there. You know what? Get some tusks. Animal store in there. Uh, so buildings 10. What's do each of these produce? Oh, right, yeah. Meat for local armies. Gives you 10. Okay. Aldrin Town. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Surely they need, don't they need to chance of removing a trait gain from visiting? Oh, I was thinking like, yeah. <laughs> My mind was thinking like, what's the point of that now when you, you lose them all when you complete a realm? But that's in case you don't complete a realm. Oh, we're just shy of reaching it. Okay, um, head here. Onward, 
Ambush test shots, leadership defense. <laughs> yes, me. Here. I will feel the hunger. Get more ogre boys. More smash mash. Uh, haven't made a camp yet. I can't actually deploy one. I need to research technologies. Like this one. Before I can get a camp. They are permanent, right? So you probably want to leave one. Somewhere safe and protected, but also where you can access stuff. I don't know, where's where's the where do we reckon the best place is for your first camp? Right, there we go. Camp huddle. So we can have a camp now. But where is our best place for this first one? Or is it just better to plop it down straight away? Because like here, I can't see it. Need to worry about it anywhere. It's the only one we can get. Do we want it like up here? Or do, would we want it like down this way in between them? Uh, that one will help with growth, but we don't have too much more to do there. So chuck that one in, I think. And then you'll get the landmark as your final one there. The great Somewhere here in the mountains. Somewhere near a rift. Really? Well, I mean, we can't tell where rifts are going to be because they're just like random. Well, I feel like we should take out the dwarves first. Then maybe, maybe build a camp here. In between these two settlements. Can't wait to see how the map expands with the mortal empires as well, like this bit. It's gonna be so much fun. Like if Scrag has his stops down here, he's gonna be in such a cool mix of like Kemla, Dwarves, Bretonians, Empire. You always put it next to Eelheart. You can build an enemy territory, right? I kind of feel like putting one here down at the crossroads might be a good idea. Can I can I build one if I throw out another lord? I could do, couldn't I? I could just throw someone out and create a camp here. Let's go smash these guys out of existence. Should be able to order resolve this. A pure victory? What? Because they've recruited some of these boys. Well, I don't really want to lose any of you. I mean, I can easily re-recruit them. Camps provide AoE buffs for armies in its influence. Good for attacking, but if you want one to be your core settlement, maybe... I mean, it depends where we get its forward bases. That will be your main requirement, so not middle of mountain pass. Near Marienburg. Okay, I'll hold it up until we get close to Marienburg. Uh, okay, let's just dive in here and swarm them. <laughs> 